are doing five things you might not know about the euphonium. Number one, what is a euphonium? This is a euphonium. You may have seen them uh, in pictures here and there and you see them in, in bands. The, the euphonium is the tenor member of the tuba family. Number two, the uh, the tuba family are all instruments that have what they call a conical bore as opposed to cylindrical. Brass instruments are in two families, tubas or trumpets. This conical bore means that from the time the pipe leaves the mouthpiece until it gets around, it continually gets bigger. This gives it a very uh, mellow sound. Whereas the cylindrical bore, which is the pipe, is the same length all the way through until it gets to the final end, is a trumpet, which has a brilliant sound. So the smallest of the tubas is the cornet, which has conical bore. The largest of the trumpets is the sousaphone, which has cylindrical bore and wants a brilliant sound on parade. Number three, the euphonium was invented in Germany in the 1860s. But a man called Adolf Sachs uh, quickly adopted it and developed it in Great Britain for the British brass band system. You may recognize the name because Adolf Sachs was the man that invented the saxophone. Number four. The euphonium usually has a fourth valve. You see most brass instruments with the th th three valves, but the fourth valve on the euphonium gives it the opportunity to drop down and so they can get into the tuba range, which is something that uh, I use quite often when I play uh, with, uh, with violins and with other things. I usually take the tuba voice. And number five, what does the word euphonium mean? Euphonium is a combination of two Greek words. One is euphus, which means heavenly, as in euphoric, and the other is phonus, which is sound. So the name of the euphonium is heavenly sound, and it's very well named.